Hi, it's Dave again with DRH Acrylic Creations. Today is going to be another painting using a color palette I've been working on for it's been about two and a half weeks. I've done several pieces that I've posted. Uh, today is another of that. I thought honestly that it was going to be the painting, but it didn't work out the as well as I would like to see. Now, this collaboration that I'm I'm going to be part of is a Pride collaboration. It's going to go on on uh, June 27th, 28th, and 29th, and will include 21 artists uh, of several different styles. So, please put it on your calendar and check it out. Um, this painting today is going to be a on a 10 inch round with a black faux pillow, a swipe with uh, interference colors, and then a dirty swipe with two different flag colors. Now the first flag is going to be the drag queen uh, flag, which is, I'll talk about the colors when we get down to it. And the second one is the trans flag. Uh, two very similar palettes, or different similar color palettes, um, but in the end, they're not exactly the same. So I've been struggling with this one. It's been very hard for me to wrap my head around, but I think I finally have the idea in my head of what I want to see and to make this all work. So that'll be the next one I do. But for this one, it was worth seeing. So I decided to go ahead and process this video and put it up for today. So without any further uh, delay, let's get down to talk about the color. Okay, let's talk just a moment about uh, this first swipe layer that we're going to be doing. It's going to be all interference colors, which will look really good across the black uh, pill spell I'm going to use on this. Over on this side, this is interference red by golden. All of these are interference colors by golden. Uh, next, this is interference orange, interference gold, which is going to substitute for my yellow. Interference green, interference blue, and interference violet. This should be a very nice uh, rainbow effect across the uh, that black layer. So let's uh, let's get these mixed up, and I'll talk about my other colors. I'm dividing this into two subgroups of pride flags. So on one side, I'm going to be doing the drag queens. On the other side, I'm going to be doing the trans community. Let's start with the, the drag queen community. Uh, it has a darker blue, uh, rich pink, and a purple. So down here, this is Crescendo by this little piggy. You can see the color there. This is Afterglow by this little piggy. And this is Brilliant Blue by Liquitex Basics. It's the only two paint in this layer. Okay, on the trans side, we have Unicorn by This Little Piggy and Flamingo by This Little Piggy. It's a nice light blue and a lighter pink than what the other side is. These three have shifting color. Uh, this goes over to violet to a pinkish. This goes from a beautiful uh, blue to a teal to a gold. And this has a, this has a pink to violet. So they're, they're beautiful colors and with lots of shimmer. Okay, the pillow paint's going down now. Again, this is PPG Multi Pro. It's a Home Depot item and it's been my go-to for quite some time. Putting down a fairly medium-sized puddle here. All it's gonna be is sitting for my colors to sit on top of. On top of this, I'm gonna put down a faux pillow. This is going to be a color that wasn't listed earlier. It's Carbon Black by Amsterdam, and it's mixed with my normal pouring medium. I'm going to put it on the back of my scraping tool, and we're going to layer that across the top of the white. This time I'm trying to do a really good job of covering all of the white, because I really don't want it to show up until I'm ready for it. So I'm gonna speed a lot of this up. You're gonna notice that it does speed up. Uh, this video would have been way too long had I kept it at normal speed or even double speed. So it'll go in and out of faster. Okay, second part of this, I'm just getting a, a nice even layer 
against uh, across all of my across all of my white surface. Quite a few bubbles in this, uh, which was not. This is my 101 uh, how to series. If you're interested in learning how to, to uh, mix paints or how I mix my pouring mediums or uh, any of the things you see me do on this channel, check it out. It has some very good information in there. Okay, putting down my interference colors now. This is uh, the, the interference red, then interference orange, then interference gold, substitute for my interference yellow, then interference green, followed by interference blue, and finally interference violet. And I'm gonna do a swipe across this. Like I said at the beginning, I meant to put a cell activator underneath it, but after I got it all loaded up, I said, oh, let's just flow with it. It's not that it didn't come out the, uh, didn't come out with a, I mean, it's a nice look, but it's just not one I had in my head. So it's the only reason I probably would have used this one for, for the video on the 27th, except for that. That white section there are the uh, interference against the white uh, did show up in the final product and it was another reason. All I'm doing here is stretching it out, getting the, the, getting the coverage I wanted. I was actually hoping to get more of a rainbow effect there. It's there. It's just not as pronounced as I would have liked to seen it. I'm going to do the spinning on this. I'm going to speed everything up from this point out. Just filling in some of the area where I didn't get enough flow. And I'm getting ready to load at the back of my, my palette knife with uh, some cell activator and my colors. The first, I think first thing I put down with a uh, drag queen flag and did my swipe there. And the second swipe I'm going to do here is with the trans flag. I pulled up quite a bit of pay, uh, white pillow there. It was really not ideal what I wanted. It works out at the end. And my trans flag didn't really, the colors didn't uh, they weren't as pronounced as I would have liked to see them. I will tell you this color scheme has been, it has been, uh, this palette has been very difficult for me. Um, so I've tried a lot of things to make it work. Like I said, I sped up 10 times on this, this part just trying to get enough paint down to cover my sides and uh, make sure that there's not too much paint down on the canvas. I had that, that little stringer when I pulled, uh, pulled out from the, uh, from the swipe I did there, the, it just, it followed me out and I'm trying to fix that. Really no good fix for that. Just kind of have to accept it. Now from this view, you're seeing that, oh boy, this looks really dark. I can't see the colors. We get down to the close up, you'll be able to see all of them. So here's the flyover. I did get some nice cells with the, with the, uh, the pillow and you can see the colors do pop through. And when you go further out just a little bit to get the, the rainbow does, does show up. It just, this wasn't the piece I was looking forward to share on the, for the collaboration. Thank you for being here today. If you'd like to help, leave a like, subscribe, and ring the bell. It's absolutely free and it really does help. I want to thank you very much for being here today and I'm hoping you got something out of this. 
I'll see you next time. Bye for now.